Hello, hello everybody and welcome! This is Kat and today we are pretending to be fashion designers and creating costumes out of washi tape. So grab your paper and your washi and let's get started! First things first, we need a mannequin in order to put the clothes on something. So I'm quickly sketching here a pose, which I'll be using for all the outfits I'm gonna create. Just because the pose is not important, the outfits are, so I don't want to put too much effort into the pose itself. I am using, of course, a reference for this pose, and the picture is on my Pinterest board. If you want to check out the description for this video, there's a link there where you can check my Pinterest board, where I put all my references that I use in all my videos. Fashion design concept art usually has a very distinct aesthetic, but for the purpose of this challenge I'm gonna go with a semi-realistic look. Okay, this should be enough, let's put some clothes on this lady. And for the first design I'm actually going to be very uninspired and I'll go with my personal favorite outfit. These are actually clothes that I have, the clothes that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And it very much represents the way I personally like to dress up, what suits me and what I feel comfortable wearing. My style is very casual, I always dress up thinking of what's the most comfortable thing I can put on. And if that something happens to be a bit cute, then it's even better. However, in the last couple of years or so, I found myself gravitating more often towards more masculine clothing. And when I say masculine clothing, I mean just clothing that is traditionally generally considered to be more for men than for women. I guess for me the appeal comes from the fact that male clothing is a bit more simple and more casual, it's easier to wear and it's not that pretentious. I guess I'm at that point in my life where I just can't be bothered with anything that's complicated and that requires a lot of effort. So I would often go to the mail section in a store when I go shopping for clothing and I will just pick some things from the mail sector, something like shirts or blouses or things that are loose and nice and simple enough to be worn without having to make a big fuss over it. So my go-to outfit would be a pair of jeans with a black t-shirt and some kind of shirt on top. Now that I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do, I'm going to transfer this over to a different piece of paper. Here's my drawing, all looking nice and tidy. I thought, why not do this illustration three times, obviously different outfits each time, but keep the same mannequin instead of trying to redesign it. In order to make sure that the mannequin remains the same and the proportions look identical for each of them, what I did was to draw the base on tracing paper. To get this transfer to the actual drawing paper, I used a mechanical pencil and I traced the whole outline on the back of the tracing paper. I flip it over, put it down and then trace again. And when you do that, the graphite gets transferred from the back to the actual drawing paper. And all I have to do then is just design the clothing and I have already a perfect base that's consistent throughout the whole illustration. I colored the jeans off camera with my alcohol markers because I don't have a washi tape that's dark enough for the jeans. This is the washi tape that I do have and it's got this lovely galaxy-like pattern which will look nice as jeans but on its own it is not dark enough. So the washi tape will act like texture on the jeans. Working with washi tape is really easy and it's so much fun, I do encourage you guys to try it sometime. Though, please be very careful when you use the X-Acto knife, it's very sharp and you can easily cut yourself, so be mindful of that, be very careful when you use any sharp objects. I feel like I haven't said this in quite a long time, but here's another party I've been late to and this is just using washi tape in art. I am such a cave person, honestly. I didn't even know what washi tape was until maybe a month ago. This blue washi tape is the very first washi tape I ever bought to use it for anything really. And if you want to check out the video I posted two weeks ago, I am using this washi tape for the very first time in an illustration that I made on the cover of my sketchbook. I've seen people using it on YouTube for various projects and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun, I have to try it out. And I have to say, it was love at first sight. I love the way washi tape looks when you include it in traditional art. It is such an easy and effective way to add texture to your illustrations. And for that reason, I've become a bit obsessed with it and I'm trying to incorporate it in everything I'm doing. But obviously it doesn't work with every single project, though I feel that this particular one, just doing fashion design on a piece of paper, is just the perfect opportunity to use your washi tape collection if you have one. Now moving on to the shirt, I'm using this plate texture washi tape for the shirt because by pure coincidence it so happened that I just bought a shirt with this exact color and texture. The fact that I had this washi tape to do the 
the shirt was pure coincidence because I bought the shirt a week ago but the washi tape I think I got it about a month ago when I bought the blue one as well and I guess this match was made in heaven because I didn't know about this project I didn't have the idea to do it when I bought either the washi tape or the shirt so it happened that they both came into my life at the right moment. I keep buying things that I like but I don't necessarily need on the idea that you know what someday someday this will come in hand and I'll need it and guess what this time it actually did came in hand how amazing is that this is the part where I actually start to struggle a bit because I jumped into the project super excited about the idea of doing clothes with washi tape but I haven't actually planned on how I'm going to shade and give some kind of volume and definition to the clothing I'm designing so after having a long thought and scratching my head I decided that the only things I can put on top of the washi tape that will still show through some of the texture and the color would be either watercolor or alcohol markers. My gut instinct told me that watercolor is not going to stick very well to the washi tape. So I went with option number two which was alcohol markers and it did work. However it was a bit of a struggle I have to admit that. I had to go over with multiple layers in order to get the shadows to show and the more layers I applied the harder it was for the ink to stick. It also took very long for the ink to dry and I accidentally picked it up with my hand and then I stained the paper around the character and it was just a pain to remove and to clean it up. But I'm quite happy with the end result so I'm happy I put up with the hassle. For the second design I chose to go with an outfit that is also representing clothes that I have but this is something that I usually wear at work. This is not necessarily my go-to attire but because my workplace has a dress code which is called I think business casual smart something along the lines of that. So I do have to be a bit more out of my normal everyday clothes. My favorite work outfit is this long grey dress slash blouse that I can layer on top of other items. I'm calling it a dress slash blouse because I'm not quite sure what it is to be honest. It's long enough to be a mini dress and it's short enough to be a long blouse so I can get away with using it either with tights as a dress or just with jeans as a blouse. It's also a shade of grey that goes well with any other color I want to combine it with. Just like in the previous design, I laid down a flat color of grey with the alcohol markers and I'm gonna use washi tape on top. This light grey washi tape looks like it's not actually doing anything but you will see at the end of the video when I do the close-ups that it actually gives a very nice texture to the dress. I can't say that grey is my favorite color but 70% of my wardrobe is probably composed of different clothing items that are some shade of grey. 20% would be probably black and just 10% of my entire wardrobe is actually colored items. And the reason for it it's because not many colors actually look good on me. I'm not entirely sure why, maybe it's got something to do with the undertone of my skin or just, I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird about it but I feel like very few colors actually complement my skin tone and my hair color and my eye color. White, black and grey are the ones that work best for me and they are very easy to pair with each other so I don't have much of a headache about that. In consequence I have a very 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 boring wardrobe. I would say that the red shirt is probably the most colorful clothing item I have along with some blue jeans which don't count because you know they are jeans. You probably notice now that I actually went ahead and colored the skin of the mannequin and I'll be doing the same with the remaining two mannequins. I initially thought I would just leave them blank like white paper just so they wouldn't steal the attention from the clothing but they were looking really strange and really creepy just being white so I had to do something with that and I just slapped some skin on them though admittedly they don't actually have faces which makes them look even more creepy in a way I don't know it's kind of weird but I kind of like it in the same time right I feel like I'm contradicting myself so let me explain it's weird but it's good weird because it's my kind of weird if this look kind of creeps you out I'm sorry it's not what I was going for but honestly I have a weird fascination with it I think because of the shading around the wig they kind of look like slender men don't you think for the final design I decided to go with something that's not actually an outfit that I own. It's basically an outfit that I wish I could pull off. I said earlier that not many colors suit me and complement me. Well, 
the ones that are the worst are actually pastel colors for me. So I'm designing something that is very pastel, very light and girly and pretty and obviously something that I would never ever be able to wear. I'm not using any references for this design simply because I have a lot of the ideas, outfits that I've seen other people wearing which look amazing but I can never ever ever dream to pull them off. So yeah, there's a lot of wish fulfillment in this design. To so many of us, art is a form of escapism. We draw and we paint the things we design the most. Think of all the pretty girls that you see painted or drawn on Instagram. They are a form of wish fulfillment at the end of the day. Here's my very pink and pretty outfit and I'm gonna use these two washi tapes. I want to tell you guys a little short story about my experience, let's call it like that, with designing clothes or fashion design. It is not much of an experience to be honest and it's quite silly but let's, let's just call it that. Designing clothes was always something I would do to relax, it was made for fun and I'm not taking it very seriously to be honest because let's face it, I am no genius, I don't come up with ideas or designs that are unique or you know exceptional in any way. But this mentally relaxes me and it takes me to a happy place because it's linked to something that happened in my childhood. When I was 12, I was rushed into the hospital and I was there for about almost four weeks. Staying in a hospital is no fun whether you're an adult or a child. So in order to pass time, I asked my parents to bring me some colored pencils and some paper so I could draw something while I was staying there and being bored to death. My parents brought me some printer paper, I think it was about 150 or 200 sheets and obviously some colored pencils. So over the span of three weeks I drew probably over 200-300 outfits. And this was way before smartphones and internet connection, so everything came just from my imagination as a child. If I would have been any good at it, that would have made a very hefty portfolio for a college application later in life. Anyway, this experience is very dear to me and it takes me to a happy place because even though I was in a hospital, I was going through a period of healing and that feeling of being well again is so strongly linked to the activity of drawing clothes, of designing outfits. It's a strange association that my brain made between that feeling of wellness and the activity of drawing and it got so well embedded in my memory and my being that even now after so many years just a simple act of drawing clothes makes me feel physically well. There we have it, the three pretty girls in the three pretty outfits all completed and I'm showing you a close-up so you can see how lovely the washi tape looks as a texture to the clothing. This project was so much fun, it was so enjoyable working with washi tape and that's probably the reason why I'm trying to use it for everything. If you haven't tried this technique already, I do recommend it, I'm sure you will enjoy it as well. A big thank you to all my subscribers, I do appreciate all your help and support. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye!